pro-life, pro-choice. That is definitely, it is up to each individual woman because it is her body and there is a risk to being pregnant. You can die from it. There's also a burden. And like I said, there's a time where I don't remember even existing. What people don't understand is that is not quite a conscious life form. I just don't see that. I, I can't see that. So what it boils down to is it's pro-choice. That's why it's called pro-choice. It is her choice. And there should be no, no, no law, no law, no law set for what a woman does with her body. You can argue that the brain doesn't even develop when they're at a certain age. We know our brains create our conscience. Sure, it doesn't come, well, maybe it does come from <laughs> some guy's penis, but hey, what do I know? Hey, Oli, what happened to your ear? Well, you see, I was ironing my shirt when the phone rang and I accidentally answered the iron. Oh, well, that, that doesn't really... What happened to the other ear? Well, you see, I tried to call the doctor after that. Oh, oh boy. Oh. I suppose it depends on how you define evil. Like, is it sin? Eating an apple? That probably isn't evil. Is it murdering somebody in cold blood for no reason? It's like a psychopath? Is that evil? It could be just that their brain's functioning really screwed up. That doesn't mean I can't call it something bad or evil. Evil is kind of a weird word because it has such a religious tone to it. Evil is anything that God considers ab abomination. So there probably could be. We can make it. We can make something evil, I guess. So yeah, there is a such thing because we can just call it evil. I guess we can call anything we want to. As far as I'm concerned, are they really these labels that we have to give them, like a sin? I don't think so. How you define evil? Premarital sex, using birth control, working on the Sabbath, not stoning our kids for being unruly. But... So you're asking if I believe in sin. I don't even know what sin is. I don't think anybody's actually given a clean definition of what that is. Eating the apple, that's supposed to be the original sin. What is that? What does that mean? Yeah, I don't think I believe in it. I think I'll leave it at that. Am I an anti-theist? Well, it just so happens, yes, I am. I don't think religion has proven itself to be true. And what it allows is for some charismatic fella or lady to give their agenda, people tend to just follow them for no freaking reason whatsoever. If they're charismatic, all religion is bad in that sense because it is make-believe. You know, some things are true in it, of course, because we're just human beings and we're trying to build that social structure. No, no, I, religion is bad. I'm an anti-theist. I think religion should not be used as anything for a learning factor to go forward with our decision-making. Period. The death penalty, or what's my opinion on the death penalty? I think the death penalty is a final thing. We're all going to die anyway. I don't have this thing about revenge. I don't think it does any good. It, it doesn't erase the crime. And usually the death penalty is, you know, an eye for an eye, you know, murder for a murder. I mean, what does it prove? What, it doesn't deter anyone either. It's been proven that it doesn't. People still kill people. I don't think we need it. It's costing a lot of money to keep the inmates in there, first of all. Once you carry out the sentence of the death penalty, it's final. You can't bring that person back if they all of a sudden found to be innocent. Yeah, the death penalty, innocent people have been killed because of it. Two wrongs don't make a right. Yeah, death penalty shouldn't be allowed. You know it's made of the dark. Do you believe in magic? Believe in it? No. Wish it was true? Yeah. And it depends on if you're talking about an illusionist, because that's cool. Card tricks, yeah, that's cool. But it's not really magic, and it, people a long time ago knew that people's minds were fallible, and they knew that th certain things, because, well, you know, you do something through trial and error or whatever, not even trial, not even error or trial, you just all of a sudden come across something that, hey, I fooled him for some reason. And they learned that, and, you know, the magicians, they kind of had their secrets that they keep. Well, that would be magic, but it's not magic. It's just 
fooling the human mind. Are there absolutes? Absolutely, but I haven't found one yet. I mean, when you get into the philosophical side of it, I mean, no, there is no absolute absolute. We just don't know because there's just too much out there that we don't know. How can you know everything until the beginning and the end of time have completely gone and taken its course? In the colloquial, yeah, there's absolutely absolutes. <laughs> I'd rather be moral or legal. Morally legal? Legally moral. Punked? I mean, what, what is moral when it comes down to where moral stand? I'd rather be moral. Whatever is in my heart, I guess. Whatever, whatever I think is moral is probably where I'd rather be. Kind of a tough one. I mean, if I was in a Muslim country with Sharia law and being an atheist as I am, I would probably want to be moral rather than legal. If I was in fantasy land where everything was freaking happy and things and you had to be happy for being legal, then I'd rather be legal. <laughs> so there you have it. Do I believe in Satan? Short answer, no. I'm an atheist. I don't think he's a thing. I know there are Satanists that are atheists. They're actually atheists, but they just use that for helping out with keeping laws in check by the religious Christian uh, religious freaks don't get their laws involved. It's all a bunch of hocus pocus, haba de jubu, whatever haja de jubu is. Do I protest? Well, this question I do. No, I haven't protested, but I've always wanted to. I mean, it's not too late yet. I'm on this side of the ground, so you never know. Do you believe in luck? Arr. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Arr. Do I look Irish to you? No. I think you can get lucky. It's just a way of saying something good happened to you. No, I don't believe in luck. It just is what it is. I am what I am. Are there atheists in foxholes? Yes. Why wouldn't there be? I've gone through life without ever believing in God. Even on my deathbed, I don't think I will because he's not a thing. There are atheists in foxholes. And I'll leave you that at that. Should exorcism be legal? I don't even know how to feel about that question. No, I don't think... So. I don't know. Do you make it illegal? Is that what you're saying? I'm not sure what you really mean by that. Uh, I think we should really try and discourage people from believing it is a thing. We know that people have seizures, they have mental breakdowns, and blah, blah, blah. Our mind is just a... A very fragile thing once in a while. I don't think we should do exorcisms. For real. I don't, I don't get the question. <laughs> Are weddings religious rituals or legal contracts? Well, if you were a Christian, you would say that it's a religious ritual. In the Bible, it describes all the different rules and stuff like that that go along with, with a married couple. Or, yeah, I guess polygamy was in there in the Old Testament, wasn't it? Everybody should realize that that was a legal contract. I think it's a legal contract. Even in the Bible, I think it is. That's all I gotta say about that. Why do I not believe? Well, first of all, this uh, all-knowing, all-seeing, all-doing, whatever, blah, 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 whatever, blah, 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 should quit sending these stupid messengers to try and prove that he's there. Doesn't he realize by now that they just can't get the job done? He certainly isn't all-knowing, because he certainly didn't know that they couldn't get the job done. Yeah, I think he's got to come here himself to make me believe. Otherwise, <laughs> it's just people sitting there saying, oh, blah, 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 blah. Nobody's given any evidence for him. He doesn't speak for himself. He's incorporeal. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't leave a trace. And pretty much the definition of imaginary. It satisfies that definition. Well, if I had a child, I would let him or her attend church because I would definitely try to make sure that they had the tools to rationalize what's true and what's fiction. Uh, of course, you know, I've never been in a relationship with somebody that's dogmatic or anything like that either. So, yeah, I, I, I would. I, I don't know why you wouldn't. Maybe to get a laugh with them, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I would. Does atheism reflect my r romantic relationships? No. It's my awkward shyness that affects my relationship. I don't even know how atheism would affect a relationship because 
unless they ask me, I'm not going to tell them anything about me and unless it gets to that point. And if it doesn't work out, well, then I'd be like, well, whatever. See ya. No, I'm just a geeky, shy kid in an old man's body. I'm lonely. Somebody, somebody come and get me and date me. <laughs> Is evolution connected to my lack of faith? I don't have any faith. I don't even believe in faith. I know a girl named Faith. No, no, no yes. Yeah, well, I mean, it does because it, it's, it's explained. It's, it's helped explain the natural world to us. And it made God get into the tiny little gaps. Yeah, I, I would say it has, it's affected everybody that's an atheist. Um, I shouldn't say everybody because, <laughs> you know, there's some atheists that don't believe in evolution, I suppose. Whatever. Why do I discuss religion if I don't believe? Well, I'll tell you what. Most of my life, I didn't discuss religion. I'd always turn my head the other way and, you know, just play like nod my head kind of and answer people. But when I started realizing how poisonous religion is, it made me realize that I have to, I have to say something. Because there's many people out there that feel that they can't even talk about not believing. There's no reason to believe. In my worldview, there, there's no God. There's no God talking to people. We know what our mind does. We know how that works. They're all just making things up or they have nefarious intentions. They're sociopaths or they're delusional. Or they just took somebody else's word for it. And that's what faith is. That's why I hate faith. No, not the girl faith. <laughs> what scriptures in religious texts upset me the most? No dissent. Anything and everything that has to do, no dissent, with not allowing dissent. Anything that tells you that people that don't believe are stupid. No dissent. Or dumb. Or fools. It's stupid. No dissent. For that reason alone. It, it's no dissent. The thing about it is, no dissent. It's pushed into people's minds. It's so badly. And it spreads. It keeps on spreading because it's a perpetual thing. It, it's, it's genius in its own little sense. I mean, it's just, you can't prove that this thing that's going to punish you doesn't exist. But you better, you better believe it. Anything that sits there and says, you better not, or you're going to burn in hell, or, you know, no dissent. Anything like that, that's what upsets me. And that should upset even the religious people. Am I moved by religious music? Music strikes at our emotions. It's, it, it gets our attention. It's, it reminds us of things. It doesn't matter if it's religious or not. Let me put it this way. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, how I want to be in that number. <laughs> do atheists eat babies? Of course we do. See, my great grandma, my great great grandma, I'm sorry, has this. Oh, it's a great recipe for cooked a baby. I'll have to send it to you. Remind me to send it to you. You're going to love it. Faye, I love your questions. You're a doll. Thank you once again. By the way, go and subscribe to Faye's channel. The Wonder Lady. She's pretty cool. Thank you.